I already tucked in place this battery support at the side arms and I cut some pipe and I'm going to tuck it here like this on each side this one here and this one here like this I made and completely welded the two sides where the batteries will be and I decided to do it in flat bar because this pipe I, that I have it's too thin and I I kept making holes when I welded so I added flat bar to the both sides and now I'm in the process of re reallocating this box and the button this box is held now with the vice grip more or less here and the emergency button will be here basically i chopped the previous mount drilled some holes and mocked up here to this existing arm that was for the bumper and now I'm going to cut this flat bar, round it a bit, the end, and tuck it here so I will have a solid mount for the control box. Now that it is off the go kart, you can see better. You can see what I was saying before. Now I uh, this bar, and now I'm going to tuck it here, and this will sit like this. Now the control box is in place and now I already cut this bar that I had previously and I cut this piece that I'm going to weld here like so. It's not that comfortable having this here, but it is what it is. There's no more space to fit it. So here is the def definitive location. Yesterday when the camera was charging, I made this bracket that will go here to attach the power watcher here like this and I also cut these chunks that were here so now it's like this the same bolt through here to support the sides and now the power watcher is installed so I only need to wipe it directly to the controller so I want to use this inductive sensor but it doesn't fit through the wire so my plan is to connect it to the negative side so using this using this this cable I made for the previous system and connect it from here to here but because the wire doesn't fit the the inductive sensor I'm going to make a, uh, some kind of bus bar out of this round copper bar and make some kind of terminal that connects here 
straight to here in order to pass the inductive sensor here and then having the terminal connected like this here. this contraption the current sensor goes here and then a piece of pipe to be a spacer here and then a threaded hole here to be able to connect to the negative pole of the battery parts on the lathe and the battery it's only tucked at the moment just to see if it's if it's correct but just to secure the batteries and also I have these long bolts that I salvaged from a long water pump here you can see and I and the pump had four bolts and I only need four, so it's perfect. I'm going to paint each side now. I grind I grinded all the rust and made it shiny. And also I'm going to paint these two bars that attach each battery to the frame. So in the next episode, do the wiring and make sure everything is wired correctly and it works and maybe take it for a test drive. So I will see you in the next episode.